Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iOS Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. You want iOS 12? You can get it right now with some apps. Ah, I want it right now. Let's get it. Also, I'll show you how to snoop on your neighbors or your friends. And my app cap will be in space. In space! It's time for iOS Today. iOS Today is brought to you by 23andMe. Now through Father's Day, get 30% off each 23andMe DNA kit. Go to 23andMe.com slash twit today. <clears throat> iOS Today time. Hello, Megan Maroney. Hello, Leo Laporte. This is the show where we talk about iOS, iPad, and even though Apple calls it TVOS, TV, uh, Apple Watch, even though they call it WatchOS, mm -hmm. and the iPhone, all of those four devices, everything you'd ever want to know. Last week, we talked about Apple's announcements about iOS 12 coming soon. Well, this September, probably. They didn't say exact date, but I think usually September to an iPad and iPhone near you. I signed up for the public beta. Still don't have that. But we've got a way for you to get many of the fine features mm -hmm. of iOS 12 right now. Right Right now. Because a lot of people notice that when they made an announcement, they say, well, there's an app that does that, and there's an app that does that. And they Sherlocked everybody. They did. Um, that's You know, that's the phrase that they, you know that. But well, they I'll explain know. it, because there used to be a, a file searching application, really great, for Macintosh called Sherlock. And then Apple announces Spotlight, which basically is the exact same feature set as Sherlock, and sh Sherlock was gone, was history. And so ever since, and it seems to happen almost every Apple keynote, Apple announced something, that, and they we call it, they, they Sherlocked an existing program. They Sherlocked a bunch of measurement programs. They did. Should we start with the measurement? Sure. Okay, so yeah, they showed this AR measurement, and they, oh, you can do it. And maybe it'll be better, because the, the, there's lots of them, but the one that I've been using is called Measure Kit AR. It uses AR Kit, so it's the same exact functionality that Apple was touting. And so I can, I'm scanning the, the world, tap to start measuring. measuring. So you so, can measure the distance from that part of the table to that part of the table. Yeah, I think I have to hold it. And no, you, don't you point it? Don't you move the screen? Oh, okay. Oh, Let's no, see. maybe not. Right. You're right. There you go. And there then, you go. Hey, look, it's, by the way, a number of people tweeted uh, that the Apple Measure app, which they tried after the event, wasn't that accurate. Oh, they people. It kind of implies out. that, oh, it's going to be super accurate using the magic of uh, augmented reality. Mm -hmm. No. And uh, Philip Elmer DeWitt, who was in the audience during the event, he was on Twitter on Sunday. He said, people were scratching their heads in the audience. Some people were even upset. It's like, why is Apple spending minutes of precious keynote time on such a, you know, kind of nothing program? Well, and then, except for John over there, was getting really excited about it. So it depends on what you do, right? Like, he likes He measures idea. stuff a lot. Yeah. yeah. But he could use Measure Kit. Right. Right now. Mm -hmm. He could. If that's what you're craving. Um, measure Kit also will let you measure how tall someone is. They yeah. do that. And they have the, um, I think we've shown this before, the um, face mesh, which is really fun to play with. Hello. It uses the front facing camera that's to show a, what yeah. the depth like sensor is seeing. What my face is doing. Yeah. Or, you know, you can actually yeah. see uh, my face there. Um, <clears> there's <throat> my face data. You can see I blink left, I look down left. So this is really useful. This has got much more going on than the measure app that yeah. Apple's. Crack staff probably spent a day writing. <laughs> um, it's not clear w why Apple decided that they wanted to highlight that. It's not that these aren't features that have been around for a year in ARKit. It's not that there aren't already apps doing that and more. It's just baffling. I don't yeah. understand it. But anyway, now you, can <laughs> now you can do it. You know what I would love to be able to do, though? I want those Memojis. Well, I haven't figured out a way to get Memojis, but Bitmoji is pretty close. It's pretty close. Um, and if you follow me on Twitter, you know that I updated my Bitmoji over the weekend because I noticed that my nose was a little small and I have a prominent nose. I mean, <laughs> we you know, both I do. do. This is, we could call this the Schnoz show. <laughs> yeah, we could. This weekend, Schnozzes. We should. I mean, because they're not called iOS, you know, there's Mac OS, Schnoz OS today. Schnoz OS. 
Um, so Bitmoji, let's、uh, show the Bitmoji app. Bitmoji isn't going to be animated, but it's just as good, I think. Now, Bitmoji is owned by、uh, Snapchat. So let me find it. It wasn't originally, but Snapchat did something similar and they decided to buy Bitmoji,、mm -hmm. which I thought was a wise choice. I actually have the Bitmoji keyboard on my iPhone because I use it so Do you really? often. Now,、yes. <clears throat> unlike Apple's、uh, Memoji, which doesn't use a picture of you but lets you start from scratch with a, with a head,、mm -hmm. uh, like Mr. Potato Head, and then glue stuff on, Bitmoji will do that, but it also will start with a picture if you want. Do、mm -hmm. you find that the picture Bitmoji is more accurate or less accurate?、Um, I think that the picture, I don't know. I mean, it depends.、Aww. It's like. He sent me a m e m o j i I did. I said, let's take a look at his. You're cute. It,、yeah. it <laughs> says you're cute. And that kind of looks, looks like, like you.、Me. You got the nose down. The nose, the eyes, the mouth.、Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess it looks like you.、Um, so. That looks more like you, the picture. <laughs> well, that's because it's a photo. Yeah. So、um, that's my question. Well, I, what do you think? Okay, let me. Here's, the, here's how I could change. What do you think I should change to make it look more like me? The hairstyle? The hair treatment? I don't know. The eye shape? Like, is that what my eyes are shaped like? I don't know. My, 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 my Bitmoji doesn't look that much like me either. I mean, I have a Bitmoji as well. Everybody who has Snapchat probably at some point creates a Bitmoji. Yeah.、Right? And the best thing about Snapchat, your Bitmojis can interact with one another if you're snapping. So, can they talk to each other? Well, no, they just get, you know, the, they're all in different scenes, right? Like, the, does this look like、cute. me? I think that looks kind of like me. It's got gray hair and glasses. I would round out the face a bit if I would. Would you? you know, yeah.、Mm -hmm. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Hawaiian、now. shirt? Yeah. That Don't you love that? Like you. And you do like to wear shorts. And I like to wear shorts and flip flops, as everyone knows.、Mm -hmm. Everyone who sees me.、Mm -hmm. But you usually wear socks, white socks. White with socks、sneakers. with my,、uh, yeah. With your, your air. What are those shoes called that you like to wear? The air dales? Air dales. Yeah, I wear my air dales. No. <laughs> what are they called? All birds. All birds. <laughs> <Sorry> . <laughs> So, the nice thing about Bitmoji、uh, is it comes, and everybody who's done it so far, including Samsung, has done this. It comes canned with a bunch of、uh, stamps,、mm -hmm. right? That let you do, I don't know why it's taking so long to lo load my Bitmoji. I guess I haven't used them.、Uh, there's a lot of new ones. I mean, I look at this one with a coffee maker and a mug.、Mm -hmm. There's tons. I mean, every emotion or thought you could ever have is. Should we try a new app? Do you have a new app? Yeah, it's called Emoji Me. Oh. Lisa, Lisa showed me this. Emoji. Emoji Me. So, should I choose a starting face? I think I look a little more like that than that other one. This is where you change your face and skin tone. Now, you could do a photo of a person you're making if you want. You can change the hair. You can see more options. You can change. It's got a lot of colors, all the colors of the rainbow, eye shapes. I think it's pretty complete. Now, what this doesn't、uh, really do is,、um, I'll save it. It doesn't do the, th the thing that Apple's really going to do that's going to be cool. It just makes a, you know, a character and like that. Oh, and you can turn your eyes. Yeah. So, yeah. Should, we,、um, should we? I asked people to send me their m e m o j i s if they had already. Yeah, I can't wait because that's, that's what I'm waiting to do. So, do you want to see one that we got from. People have it already? Yeah. If, if you're running the beta,、um, if you're a developer and you have a device that you trust.、Um, so, Carl Elsden,、um, we follow each other on Twitter. He sent me this. Are you ready? There's going to be audio too. So, you ready to hear? This is his. Oh, that looks cute. Emoji. Hello, Megan. This is me. I thought I'd make up a little emoji of myself. I don't often wear this kind of hat, but it looks quite cool. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye bye. You know what's cool? He did a great fake English accent. <laughs> He's from London, so、oh. I'm guessing it's not. The only thing fake is the hat, but he admitted it.、Um, <laughs> that's, see, I think that's so much better here, than Bitmoji what, or anything else. Here's what Carl looks like. Because it matches your face. That's what you can't really see, but there, there's what he looks like. So it looks just like that's him. That's close. Chewy, the thing is, is, it's not supposed to be too close. It's supposed to avoid this whole uncanny valley thing by looking like a cartoon version of you.、Mm -hmm. But you've seen people like Serenity Caldwell. And Renee Ritchie, both of whom, of course, are running iOS 12.、Mm -hmm. uh, Serenity、uh, on her Instagram, I'll, I'll go get it、uh, in a second here, showed us、um, wh what it looks like when you're dancing around.、Mm -hmm. and, and what happens is it puts the Memoji 
on your face, mm -hmm. but the rest of your body is you and the background is you. So yeah. I think that's kind of more, I think it's kind of more fun. Yeah, the Memoji karaoke, I, that was my favorite thing I saw. Here's Serenity Caldwell with her, and it looks pretty, again, I don't think it's supposed to look exactly like her. Her, uh, it's kind of cool when you lip sync. So that's actually her body and her room. And it does a pretty good job of putting that on her head. I think so. So your hand and everything. I think that's kind of cool. I, I like so. that. I do too. Because you can see her hands. You can see she's really into it. That's SZA. <laughs> SZA singing. Yeah, just watch that all Let's just watch that for the Over and over. Yeah. I think it's very good. I like that. So that's an example of... Uh, I think what people will probably start doing, and you're start, going to start getting in your messages in about three months, lots of that, mm -hmm. which could be annoying. If you have a lot of friends who have the iPhone 10. Well, don't you? Oh, by the way, yeah, good point. Now, Apple didn't make a big point about this. Mm -hmm. They didn't say iPhone 10 only, but it is iPhone 10 only now. But I And I think we talked about this last week. Mm -hmm. I think the reason they didn't say that is because it will be also compatible with whatever the new iPhones right. are, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really new iPhones only. Right. Yeah. But so, it needs that face array thing on the front, the thing. notch. Mm -hmm. uh, Apple also Sherlock themselves a little bit. They made a big deal of the parental controls, but there are time limits already built into iOS. Time limits? I didn't know that. There, I knew there were parental controls, but I didn't know there were time there limits. There are time limits. They're built, they're buried deep in accessibility. Oh. I've always wondered well, why- Accessibility. Yeah, why parental controls are in accessibility. Um, it actually should be called inaccessibility. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, let's see, accessibility, where, okay. So then it is in guided access. Let's find guided access. Here we are. Um, so first you have to turn guided access on and then time limits. So they're right oh. there. So you, you wouldn't even see it. It's one of those things that are totally hidden. Like you'd have to find so guided access. they didn't even access. have to add that feature. They just had to surface it. Yes, basically. Oh, so um, it's a little bit limited, but you can say time limits and then you'll uh, get a sound or it'll speak, say, your time is ended. Um, <laughs> and so you have to turn guided access on. Your time is on. ended. <laughs> And then set it, uh, set it up from there. So they're already in there, but they're hard to find and well, hard. That's to set good up. to know, parents. You can do it. <laughs> you you can. can do it. Um, yeah. So it's already there, but you know that's probably going to be easier to yeah. figure out. But you know the other um, time limit app that already exists is Moment, which has been around for a while, and that we've used. But it'll show you not just for parents, but for anyone. Moment. How often you are picking up your iPhone and what you're doing. So, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it doesn't, it's, I think, though, that it's not going to, it can't show you what apps you're running, can it? Um, it can show you. Like how much you've used Instagram. It couldn't show you how much time you've spent on Facebook. Well, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's it's telling me, I only, um, I had it on before like a couple about a year or two ago but then it would use up my battery so fast well that's always an issue too right but yeah. it's not as bad anymore Good. i've noticed Good. um so yesterday i was on my phone for one hour and one minute um and it tells me every time i picked up my phone but so. it doesn't say what apps you're using no and that's a limitation that apple imposes on third parties uh, you know you other apps can't see what apps you're using and that's for security but that's why you really we had to wait for apple to do right. this on android there are apps that will do that that will tell you exactly mm -hmm. instant is the one i use um, and i've used this for a long time it's very handy mm -hmm. actually to see what you what you're wasting time on well i mean you can tell what apps you're using in the battery there is life. there is in the battery life yeah right? that's another thing apple sherlock themselves on mm -hmm. this capability is not new it came out in ios 11 in the battery and that was really so that you could see we talked about this i think yeah. last week yeah, it was we so that you could see how much his battery life is being mm -hmm. used but it does show how much screen time which mm -hmm. is what you want to know right so yeah that is uh that, that's you know this is mostly my kids who are using I, I think the way it's going to be organized in the new well-being features it'll be easier it'll be more straightforward it'll be easier to see what's really going on so, so i think you're right like they're surfacing yeah as, as yeah, making it more accessible yeah 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 um multiplayer ar that was another feature I, that we they, can't do that now can we yes we can because i thought that would be really fun to play you know like that slingshot game 
<laughs> yes. Well, there's two multiplayer AR games that Anthony Nielsen, um, the screensavers producer, showed me. One is um, Hero. I forgot what the, it stands for. What I forgot what the H A O stands for. Um, Heroes Alliance Thank Online. You. Oh, you. So have you played this, Kevin? You already know about it. No, Kevin? I had the link in the oh. in the oh. doc. The first fantasy augmented reality. I. It's, it's a FFAR MMORPG. Exactly. The very first fantasy augmented reality multi massively multiplayer online role playing mm -hmm. game. Um, now you know why they have. Now you know why they have acronyms. <laughs> so I have it up here, um, but you—I forgot to tell you to download it. So here it is. Here's it's, what it looks it's like. It's Famobarg. Um, I can host a game. So, so should I download it real quick? Yes, download it, and then you're going to shoot um, Heroes Alliance online, and then you will shoot at this barcode. Or I guess I don't know if anybody watching this could shoot at that barcode and get it. Could they? Is it iPhone only? Mm, I think it's iPhone and Android. Oh, Hero Alliance Online Duel. Oh, you mean, I? yes. Yeah. Um, All right, I'm downloading. So and I don't know how long it's going to take, but we have pretty fast connections. So, yeah. gosh, I want to get in this game with you. So I don't know if um, if anyone else is playing and they see that barcode. Could they shoot it at the screen? So I need to be uh, in the same room as you. Probably, To yes. play it. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Okay, Anthony, I'm ready. Anthony's going to play, too. Can, can we have three players, Anthony? Yep. Okay, so. All right, beyond one. How Duel would like to... Okay, so who should I be? I should be... I'll be uh, a little girl witch. Go, yeah, join the game. Is that Pink playing in the background? Is that my... I think my my computer... Oh. Align the QR code. Okay. Align. Start game. I'm aligning. Now what? Okay. Oh, that's your start game. I'm just trying to press. Oh, do I have to say start game? Wait. Oh, I'm in it. All right. I don't need a keyboard to okay, kill you. Did you already get the thing? Okay. So now. Um, this is as now, much. Yeah. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going into the world. You're in a giant bubble. Whoa. You're. <laughs> what the hell? Um, Anthony, are you in the game? Yeah. Yeah, one can see how. Much what, do we, what do we do okay. now? Now I shoot you. Oh, perfect. I'm in a bubble too, though. Well, you take each other. Don't, it's not as fun. It's hard when you're sitting next around. to each other. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what it looks like. Is that Anthony's phone? Are you? Yeah, that's kill, Anthony's phone. Kill so Leo, not it. me. Kill Leo, not me. <laughs> kill Leo, not me, she says. Okay. Ha. All right, so I'm going to get farther away so I can shoot you. Great. <laughs> How do you shoot? <laughs> oh, I see. You, you press the buttons. You yeah. <laughs> I'm shooting Anthony now. Oh, good. Now I'm shooting you because he's too far away. So I What's think that we're. Bubble? I that's think your shield. To, don't shoot my own shield. It looks like it's bugging out of it because the bubble's supposed to be where you are. <laughs> the bubble's not where I am. <coughs> um. Okay. So I think we're really, what we're really showing off is how uh, it's how not fun to watch pieces. other people. Yeah, or how <laughs> janky it is, too, because your your shield is way over there. Yeah, your shield's not working on you either because I'm about to kill you. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> use different weapons on you? I guess oh, so. Tornado blast. Tornado blast. Megan, tornado blast. <laughs> so getting you now. Ooh. <laughs> I keep trying to use the iPad as a shield. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Tornado. <laughs> tornado. So multiplayer AR. Really fun. Sending eagles against oh, you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just saw that eagle. Did you Sending see the eagles eagle? against you. Sending. I send that eagle. Now here's another tornado blast. Oh. I won. I lost. <laughs> Wait a minute. It says I won. <laughs> we I said it's mine says you lost. So How come Anthony's this game won? is How come sexist. Anthony won and I won. <laughs> How come Anthony won okay. and I won? Um, That's fun. It it could be it has potential. It uh it seems to have as one would expect issues with uh, augmented the augmented reality placing mm -hmm. things correctly in space and that's actually a tough thing to do one of the reasons um, a lot of the what apple's doing involves the notch 
is because they have a depth sensing camera on there. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, all the stuff they're showing has to be on the back camera yeah. of the iPad or the iPhone, and that doesn't have any of the capabilities. It's right. just a regular camera. So, when I played it with Anthony, and we we're and I was on my iPhone 10, and he was on his iPhone 7. I won. So, maybe. but that has, but your iPhone 10 camera is almost identical to the iPhone 7. So that's oh. the problem. Oh. Is this is this back camera isn't isn't really in any way specially enabled for augmented reality? Oh, right. The notch camera is. So what I'm wondering is, is Apple's plan, I wouldn't be surprised uh, to put some of those capabilities, maybe a depth sensing camera. We've heard rumors that there were going to be a, a triple camera on the back of the iPhone. It would be my guess that actually it's not a triple camera, but they're adding that depth sensing uh, infrared camera, uh, which is already in the front of this, of the 10 to the back. And then these games would make a lot more sense. They would work a lot better. But it, it's, you know, it, with a camera, it's not much better than Pokemon Go. It's mm -hmm. very, you know, it's kind of floating. It uh, doesn't quite stand on the ground and all that stuff. So, um, good. Anyway, it, it wouldn't be, it's no, it, it won't be any different on iOS 12 unless you have special hardware, I guess is the thing to say. And this one's free. I wonder what Apple's doing, though, with like the Slingshot game and all yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, are they I, doing I, a better I, job? We'll try that as soon as we get the public beta. We'll try it. Yeah. You and I have uh, both signed up for 12. Mm -hmm. And I signed up for a Mojave, a Mac OS uh, oh. 10, 14, because I think that everything I've heard so far is it's pretty stable. Hmm. Now, that is not to say that you should run out and do it yourself, uh, especially if you have just the iPhone or just one iPad and you don't, you know, if you will, you will be out of luck if your iPhone stops working, then you shouldn't probably do it. Mm -hmm. Apple will even say that when you first apply. Don't do this if this is your primary device. It's really more for a secondary device. Although, I'm taking the chance. I only have one iPhone. The other thing you liked was the walkie-talkie <clears throat> feature. You want to try that? Because you sent me something. Well, it's not for the watch, but it is a sort of walkie-talkie. It's aptly named Marco Polo. Marco Polo. So Marco. I Polo. <laughs> See? So I sent you a little message. I'm going to enter my phone number here. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I already did it on the uh, oh, iPhone. The That's phone. why. Okay. It's set up on the iPhone. I have two for you. I have like, here, if you take a look. Can you see my screen, Kevin? Um, I have respectable Leo and not respectable Leo. <laughs> I don't know. Those must be your two phone numbers. And I, I tried to get know. my kids. Josh is on it. Let's see if he's working. So, Josh, um. What you doing? <clears throat> um. So where are you? There's Hi, a test bot. What are you doing? Um, you don't see me? Hey, hey, hey. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Let me um, turn the volume up. And then I can be macho. Hey. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Um, turn the volume up. Uh, and then I can be macho. Oh, so it changes my voice. Hello. And I can uh, do a robot voice? You sound like me now. Yeah. So what's happening? I did a robot voice. So this is, so I'm getting, it's like FaceTime a live picture of you? Yes. I, so it's not a walkie-talkie exactly. Well, I did get, I did just contact you. What do you want? It is like FaceTime. Okay. Okay, that's it. You finished streaming your first polo. If Megan isn't watching it already, they can watch it later. There it is. Oh, I unplugged If you want sound. to take it back, hold down the thumbnail and delete it. Okay, so then, oh, that's live. Yeah. Okay, so, so it is can like I just tell you time. something? Yes. That is not obvious that it's streaming live to you. <laughs> it says start. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's risky because mm -hmm. I could actually be In changing my clothes to surprise you with a new costume mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're watching this. That is risky. This so is it isn't walkie-talkie. Like. It's a live. It's live. Oh, pop art. Oh, oh now I'm pop art. That's blinding. So it is. Are you going to send me that? Oh, so I'm not sending it to you? Oh, because I have to say start. So oh, now I'm recording. My daughter just joined. Oh, so she is watching or. Hi, Abby. This is my Marco Polo. Now we can talk back and forth asynchronously. Ooh, I can also talk to Abby. And here is some helium. <laughs> Hello. That's a helium voice. I don't hear it, but she'll, she'll hear it? I guess so. That's Megan. Say hi, Megan. Hi, Abby. She's speaking in helium voice, too. 
I can also talk to Abby. Okay, too. I just sent it to her. But now she's now, but I don't want her to see me. So I don't understand. <laughs> what are you the pug dog? Oh yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay, that's really annoying. So, but the thing to so now can you see me live? Are um, you seeing my face? Yeah, you can okay. see me live. What do you want? Oh, that's <laughs> start. Oh, that's my so that's my really. Oh. Okay. So she is watching or Hi Abby. This is my Marco Polo. Now we can talk back and forth <laughs> asynchronously. Okay, you recorded a Marco Polo of me sending a Marco Polo. <laughs> this is very confusing. All right, I'm going to send one to Henry, too. So what's interesting is Abby is on an Android device. Oh, yeah. So she can Marco Polo, too. So it's like That's something that the Apples, time, but, uh, yeah. Apples will not have. Now, this is video, which the Apple Watch is not. The, uh, right. the walkie-talkie on Apple Watch is just going to be audio. This has really nothing to do with the walkie-talkie. <laughs> Let's be honest. Except for the words walkie-talkie. It walkie says walkie-talkie. Walkie Actually, it kind of works. It works. It kind of works. It's yeah, kind of neat. Yeah, if you want to just contact someone. <clears throat> I mean, this is for kids. Like, you would not want me just to be able to say, hey. Hey. Leo. Hey. I can uh, make myself have a robot voice. Yeah, it seems more. Well, I don't know if it's for kids. Well, I don't know. I don't know. My, um, when I. Oh, Abby's talking to me. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure if it's what asynchronously must mean at different times, but kind of at the same time. Anyway, I'd love a full explanation. Love you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's Abby for you. I love that. <laughs> okay, now that's pretty cool that but I was able to do that. Yeah. So Abby, often Abby calls during the show or when I'm working, and I can't talk to her. But asynchronous, she she got it right. Means it's not at the it's not back and forth in in real time. Mm -hmm. I send something, she can watch it like a text message mm -hmm. at her convenience and send me something back. And actually, you can send video and messages, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think asynchronous is what the kids like these days. Kids with, are all into are all over the asynchronous. Well, because uh, my kids really like Snapchat. Right. They prefer it to text message because they say, well, when we're texting, it feels like we're talking to you, mom. Um, but. They can see each other's faces when they're Snapchatting. But well, you they're saw not how great that was. I can yeah. see where Abby is. She's walking. I can right. see what's going on. She could see where I was. Yeah. I mean, I think it's really cool. Yes. Now so, I feel like I should send her something back. You should. I think we should have a Marco Polo check-in with Abby during every show. Love a full explanation. Love you, Dad. <laughs> 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 Her laugh. Funny too. Okay. Now I'm going to send it. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, it's uh, it's it, not in real time. So I send it, then you can watch it at your leisure, and you send it, I can watch it at my leisure. Oh, but it says she's watching. So that means that she's seeing what I'm doing right now. Right, like I was seeing what you were doing. So now it's kind of like FaceTime, where we're, we're but, but except no, because it's not like FaceTime, because I can't, I can, oh, it's perfect for me. I can talk without being interrupted. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Anyway, I love you. I'll talk to you after the show. Bye. That's really cool. I love how so, her laugh is just like yours. She does. She sound like me. <laughs> oh, she's talking to me now. But that. But I'm gonna save that for later, like a nice piece of fudge. Aww, for so later. Sweet. A little bit of C's candy, kind <sighs> so, of on the, on the, the counter, thing. waiting for me. <laughs> the 32 people FaceTime. You can do that with House Party, as we've mentioned mm -hmm. before. Yeah. And that's. And in fact, Android. as soon as I saw it, I thought, well, wow, Apple just invented something that's been around for a while. Google did it first with Hangouts with eight people. You don't, you're never going to use 32 people. Eight yeah. seems like enough. Uh, Hangouts even does that thing where whoever's talking comes up, but it doesn't do the really cool, floaty, big, gets bigger, gets smaller thing. It just has a bar. It's very Google, right? Mm -hmm. As a bar, eight pictures. You can see all eight people all at once. And then whoever's talking goes up to the middle and then mm -hmm. it changes, but it works great. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a house party. Mm -hmm. the, a lot of the kids, I think, use house party. Uh, that's from the folks who did Meerkat. And they decided Meerkat uh, wasn't going anywhere, so they killed Meerkat, and they created House Party. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, is there anything else that iOS 12 is bringing to the table? I think that's pretty much every feature I want. Well, we talked about Ift and... Oh, that's one thing you can't really duplicate. You can go down and get Workflow right now. You can still get the Workflow app, which Apple bought, and will be, I believe... They haven't. I don't think they've really said, but I, I have. I believe will be the heart of what Apple's doing with Siri shortcuts. It's not integrated with Siri yet, 
Um, this is this is workflow. It was a paid app, uh, but uh, Apple made it free as soon as they bought it. And if you look at it, it does kind of look a little bit like uh, what Apple demonstrated with these buttons and so forth. It's a little more limited, um, but that's exactly, again, the case with, with everything else. When Apple does something, they have access to everything on the operating system so they can make it much more sophisticated. So these are the workflows that, you know, as an example, I should use this one running late. That would be a that would mm -hmm. be a really good one. I'm often looking for ATMs nearby. I don't really need directions home. Uh, last photo to Instagram that'd be good. Calculate tip. Who wouldn't want that? And then you can add a workflow widget to your front page. So we'll do that real quickly. And uh, and then if I want to, so these are the f I just accepted those four. You can create a new workflow, and it has some fairly sophisticated capabilities. And using uh, the URL scheme. Uh, that Apple has allowed for some time where you can call another application with a what looks like a ad web address, but it's, but it's actually the application name colon slash slash and a command. So, so it uses that scheme, which Apple did built into iOS early on, to get things to talk to one another. It's kind of like share sheets talk to one another. But I'm sure with Apple it will be much more uh, powerful. And I love the idea that it will integrate Siri. That's going to be a natural thing. So if you want to kind of play with shortcuts, I think that whatever Apple does will, will feel a lot like this. It'll just be more powerful. So this would be like a little sort, shortcut sandbox you could try. Right. And Workflow. It's free. is also similar. That's what I have up on mine. But it's not, you're right. It's going to look more like Workflow because that's the app that they bought. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these are all of them. That's mine. if this, then that. Yes. You've got. Same um, idea though, tiles, scripts. If this, then that really describes kind of what's going on. If this happens, then do that. Mm -hmm. And you can have daisy chained if this, then that's, right? Mm -hmm. Or can you? I can't remember. Um, I think you can. You can have multiple actions. Yeah. I use a similar service called Zapier that does allow that. So, for instance, I have a Zapier script that when I post to one website, it automatically posts to Twitter, to Facebook, to the other website. So it's one, you post once and it goes everywhere. That's an example of a workflow uh, mm -hmm. You know, it's I use Zapier though instead of this and that. So what we're trying to say really is sort of the DNA of um, iOS 12 is already in Out there. apps. Yeah. And if you like and think about DNA a lot, um, you might want to try 23 and Me. <laughs> nice segue. <laughs> Very well done. <laughs> Father's Day is coming. Do you have your Father's Day gift? It's this I Sunday. I do. This would be a really nice one. 23 and Me is genetic analysis. Now, they don't have to go to a doctor. You don't have to give them blood or anything. You actually just give them spit, a little bit of saliva. You spit in a vial. They'll send you the kit. You send it back in the prepaid mailer. And then in six to eight weeks, you get a report back. And I, I'm going to do this for Dad because I have already done it for other members of my family. I did 23 and Me when it first started years ago. And it's so fascinating. It really is the most interesting book there is, the book about you, the 23 pairs of chromosomes, one pair from your mom, one pair from your dad that make you, you. Shouldn't you share that with your father? Wouldn't that be cool? And if you haven't done it, the 30% off works for you too. You can get as many kits as you want at 30% off. Now through June 17th, go to 23andMe.com slash twit. Okay, 23andMe.com slash twit. 75 detailed online reports, including genetic ancestry, inherited traits. You can even learn how your genes affect your health. The ancestry reports include ancestry composition, the, what they call the haplogroup. So you have a maternal and a paternal haplogroup. And for instance, I share the, uh, ha my haplogroup um, has certain features uh, that I share with other people in that haplogroup. They even tell you at 23andMe, who else is, you know, other famous people have your haplogroup. Mm. I, am, I have the same, as it turns out, it's the same haplogroup as Cheddar Man. What is Cheddar Man? Guy who likes cheese, I guess. No, he he was an ancient uh, an ancient uh, uh, fossilized ru uh, body that they found in, uh, in 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 the UK. Why'd they call him Cheddar Man? Because it's the area where I guess oh, cheddar, cheddar cheese comes from. Oh, but <laughs> but uh, so like he's like my relative. You can find closer relatives too if you want, because they have a relative uh, finder, which lets you connect with new relatives. Uh, the last, and it, because as more and more people, what is, I have kind of a, a little bit of a vested interest in you doing 23andMe because as people do it, 
you, you find more and more relatives. You, and you control this. You don't have to be available. You can keep your stuff to yourself. But if you decide to allow people to, you know, seek relatives and you decide to do it, Last month, I got a message from 23 of me, something like 56 new relatives. Oh, wow. Because a lot of people are coming online. Now, a lot of them are third or fourth cousins or distant relatives. But I found second cousins. It's really cool. And they do a very good job protecting your privacy. You don't have to worry about that. I know sometimes people worry about that. Mm -hmm. They've got high security. They're very, very careful. Uh, but it's so fun. It's so fascinating. And what a great gift for dad. For Father's Day, 30% off is a very good discount. I already did it for my mom and my sister. I'm going to do it for my dad. Lisa's done it. Uh, she's giving it uh, to Michael's dad. Uh, I mean, it, we're, it's really great when you get all the families, mm -hmm. 23 and me, no blood, no needles. You get your results in six to eight weeks. Keep that in mind. It takes a while to analyze your genes. You also get access to the raw data. <clears throat> and we have a friend who's, who downloaded the raw data, and there's some sites you can upload the raw data to because it's a standard format. Mm -hmm. And uh, this site recommends uh, medication and diet based on your genetics. So you can do stuff with this raw data that you get from 23andMe over and above that. So it's really great. 23andMe.com slash twit. 30% off each kit. The offer includes gift wrap. Dad will love it. And, you know, it's really cool when you share. My mom just shared her results with me. By the way, it says on there, Mary Laporte is almost certainly your mother. <laughs> Because she and I share 49.9% of our DNA. <laughs> Almost Isn't that funny? Certainly. Almost certainly. Which, yeah. which means dad, I think, will share 50, I will share 50.1% of his, right? She, almost yeah. certainly. <laughs> She's my mom. <laughs> 23, I love this. 23andme.com slash twit. Let me thank him for supporting iOS today. So do you ever find a video on YouTube and then you think, oh my gosh, that's, I can't believe that someone did that. And then you find out that there's a whole bunch of people doing the same thing. There's this whole weird YouTube community of people. So like, it was Tide Pods. And now what is it? Uh, apparently it's going scuba diving to find weird things do at that. the bottom of rivers. It's very dangerous unless you're a you know, certified diver, do not do that. <laughs> okay, so there, there was a guy. So there was this video going around of a guy who found an iPhone 10 uh, in the oh, river. Oh, it'd been there for a year. Y a week. Or week. Two okay, weeks. Okay, two weeks. It'd been there for a year, which is totally weird since the iPhone 10 hasn't only, even been out for yeah, a year. Yeah, it's like the first iPhone 10. Um, okay, so not a year. Still okay. Still working. Um, and it was crazy because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe someone does that. And apparently, there's a lot of people who make videos like this where they go around. Um, and it, but it was still working. It wasn't in a waterproof case or anything. Now, you're, if you're watching this, you're seeing the guy talk to the woman whose phone it was. Um, she's super excited, but he never tells her that the screen's totally cracked. He says it's perfectly working. The screen is cracked, but it's still... It's still I works. wonder if anybody will find my Mavic Pro drone. Where did you... Did you lose it in water or you just lost it? In the it? Caribbean. Yeah, probably. Look at... It, he finds... I don't even know what that is. He's, he doesn't know what that is. Do you know what that is? <laughs> looks like a tiny vacuum, but why you'd have that on the river? But this is smart. Well, at least he's cleaning up the river, I guess. Yeah, because he goes after the weekend, and there's probably like it's a not lot really diving. I mean, it's just kind of no, like, not yeah. It's not dangerous not what deep. he's doing. Yeah, no, it's, it's just the deep. river where a bunch of people float around, and he's they're maybe a little up bit the river. drunk. And, and then he returns the stuff to people, which is great. Here he found like someone's ring or something. Um, oh, I bet she was happy. Yeah. 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 Um, do you have a scuba diving license? You should go out and do that. I have scuba dived twice, but I'm not certified. Oh. But, oh, it's that's pretty nice. He found like a wedding ring. Yeah. Nice. He put it on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the iPhone 10 that he found um, worked, worked, even though it had been down there for two weeks or a year. <laughs> It's fascinating. So if you are interested... It's a better story if it had been down there for a year, frankly. Yeah, especially if it was my iPhone 10. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in watching people dive for stuff that other people have dropped in the river, there's a this, million videos like this. This, this trend will be uh, over pretty quick, I think. <laughs> I don't know if it's a trend. Man plus river. That's Yeah, man plus river. He did it and he returned her it and she was super excited. He dried it like with... So this is rice. great about YouTube because uh, you can get, uh, you know, a whole series out of something that's too too slight a concept for any, you know, real television. <laughs> But but it works fine on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about Why it. is the nose there? The nose of the mask? Oh, I get it. It's a snorkeling uh, mask. I guess so, yeah. yeah. I'd expect to find quite a few of those. Yeah. Oh, my coconut. God. What is that? A false breast? Oh, it's a coconut. 
Same okay. thing, essentially. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us, man <laughs> plus river. <laughs> okay, so uh, moving on, Apple, uh, according to the new developer guidelines, they're banning cryptocurrency mining apps and any apps that have advertising for cryptocurrency mining. Interesting. Don't know why they would, but that's Apple for you. Yeah. If you want to use all the CPU's power on your iPhone for... Mining currency? Why shouldn't you be able to? Right. Because, yeah, I guess it's... What's it's wrong those, with that? It's one of those paternalistic things. We know better than you. You probably don't know what you're doing. Um, it says they may not run unrelated background processes. No apps may run unrelated background processes, such as cryptocurrency mining. So oh, I think... I, I, I agree with them that they should ban apps that don't tell you that are doing that in the background without telling you. Like you download... Uh, a Memoji app and then mm -hmm. it, dab, it does crypto in the mi mining in the background. That would That's wrong and that does happen. We've even seen websites do that. That's a big thing with websites. So if that's all they're banning, I'm fine with that. But if they ban, if, if I want to download a Bitcoin miner and put it on my phone, I should be able to do that. And I, it's <clears> unclear <throat> if you're allowed to do that. Unrelated. Unrelated background process. So if the, oh, if the okay. app is... That's appropriate. Okay, good. I, I saw that story but I didn't I didn't actually think about what was going on yeah yeah but they might not um they might not you can't run unrelated in other words you can't run hidden things in the background speaking of people want to monetize their uh, app they might put a crypto miner the thing is <clears throat> especially with bitcoin it takes so much power uh, and uh, you know effort to mine bitcoin it's highly unlikely you'd be able to make anything on a phone mm -hmm. but if you had it on a million phones yeah you might i mean i think if you i mean a lot of you know wasn't salon thinking <laughs> of doing that like yeah, a lot of sites are doing an it. app might say hey like here's my game app and we're also going to run this cryptocurrency miner well it won't let you do that either right yeah, doesn't so. it's not whether it's uh, pro uh, told promoted warrant you know it's it's whether that does it right so but i mean it's unrelated to the main purpose of the app so your first point was true because but can i get a crypto but can i download a a, a bit a mining app if it says this is what it's for, it sounds like I could. Because it's not unrelated. That sounds like you could too. I wonder. I'll have to call out. And these are the ask. new, yeah, call them and yeah. ask. Um, yeah, you can download. <clears throat> Here's a crypto miner from Monero, which is a popular crypto coin. Ronnie Schultz. And it's not been pulled. Now, maybe it will be pulled, but it's not been pulled. So you because it's this says explicitly this is you'll be running this and you'll be mining Monero for your benefit, not my benefit, for your benefit. So um, you could just run that app and make some money on the cat on well, the side. It's a little easier to make Monero than it is to make Bitcoin, but uh, you know there's a pretty fast processor in here. It's just uh, it seems um, now I'm getting an ad. This will be banned. <laughs> So he's so that's the good news is he's he's making money from ads. Your money. Oh look, you can uh, intense coin, dynasty coin, bite coin, Monero, graft, superior coin, turtle coin. Did you see that uh Dennis Rodman had a t shirt when he was weeping about the Trump uh uh Kim uh summit? He was weeping. He had a t shirt that said pot coin <laughs> which must be his Little it's, corner of the coin world. Yeah. Custom pool crypto night. Huh. Eon alternate. Yeah, I, I, I think you probably don't want to have these apps on here. Well, I mean, if things don't work out with Twit, then maybe that it could be my future. Crypto miner is your future. Yeah, yeah. Just get a thousand iPads. There it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that's com you know, pot coin is completely on the up and up. I'm sure it is. I'm sure, there's nothing. Weird about that. No siree. If you are watching from Spain and you like football. Who doesn't? The Liga de Profesional um, app on iOS and Android. They were tracking your every move. Oh, what? Um, That's just by accident. Well, why, why would they care where uh, you are? You also used your microphone. So, yeah, they said they... They, they said they weren't storing or recording any of the content, but yeah. you know, just be aware if you um, use that app. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's a very popular app. They'll fix it.
I mean, they, what do they want? What do they care about where everybody is? They the app probably did want to know if you're in Spain, and maybe it wants to know where you are so it could show you an appropriate ad. I think you could only use it if you were in Spain. Your phone's tracking you all the time, so why shouldn't the app? True. Oh, if you can only use it in Spain, that's why it was on. Mm. So that if you left but the it, country, yeah. you couldn't use it. Um, okay. Ready for some Q and hopefully some A? I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do the A if you do the Q. Um, let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Um, here's the Q. Let's hope we can do the A's together. Josh from England writes, I was wondering if you could possibly explain what experimental WebKit features are. Um, some of them are already automatically turned on after iOS 11 update, and I've since turned them all off. Is there anything that I should turn back on and the ones I should leave off? So these are for developers, right? Experimental WebKit um, features are for developers. But if you go to the settings and Safari, let's see, settings, Safari, advanced experimental web feed. So let's go to settings. Generally, so there's a mix of these. And you can see here, constant properties, CSS display, a lot of this stuff, spring animation, is totally for developers. So they could turn these on or off. You can see. Um, and it will make it easier for them uh, to, uh, you know, diagnose problems in their apps. But why are some on and what some off? Like, I didn't go through this. Well, uh, you probably do want the cache API turned on, um, secure content API. You probably do want that turned on. Do I want web GPU? So You actually probably do want web GPU. So, uh, so some of these... so. Some of these are for developers' benefit to debug programs, and some of them are experimental features in the sense that they're perhaps not fully debugged. They may have problems, uh, and people, if they're knowledgeable, can turn them on uh, you know, for their benefit. The web GPU would speed up things by using the GPU built into the iPad, uh, and, it, and that's actually an experimental feature in a lot of browsers to use the graphics processing unit. Most people don't have GPUs on their PCs, or they have very limited GPUs, but if... If it helps and speeds up a rendering of uh, images, um, then it would be a good thing. So, yeah, I think it's – there's some things you might want to go in there. I would probably leave the defaults. If you're a developer, you know what you want and what you don't want. If you know enough to look for this and there are experimental features you think would be kind of cool, I think WebGPU is perhaps one of them. I just turned it on. Turn it on and see if it causes issues. The problem, what happens, though, is people turn these on, forget that they turned them on, and then all of a sudden – websites won't load mm. and then they call me and they say for some reason whenever i go to gmail i get a blank screen and you know i i said i don't know why but it's because you turned on a, an experimental feature three months ago and you just completely forgot you did it so if you don't know what they are don't touch <clears> them. i would suggest not messing with it mm -hmm. this is this is a, a black diamond tip it also seems weird that it's, I mean, it's it was buried, but it wasn't even as buried as the accessibility thing was. Isn't that it, funny? It's, it's right there, there in is. the Safari like, oh, settings. Oh, experimental yeah. features? I want to try that. <clears throat> a lot of browsers, you know, Firefox, Chrome, Safari on the desktop all have these experimental features. Uh, and usually, uh, in, in most cases, they're things that uh, developers need, but, it, but some of them might be useful to you. Um. Do you remember a few weeks ago when uh, we got an email from Tom from Atlanta? He said that his Logitech Create keyboard wasn't working, his case wasn't working with the iPad Pro. Yeah. And he said it was magically fixed in iOS 11.4. Nice. So don't give up on your Logitech yet. Nice. That must have been an iOS bug. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's another suggestion. So wait a minute. Now I wonder... <laughs> You know what? I didn't try. Well, I'm on 11.4.1 now because we're on the beta. But uh, I had, didn't. I should have tried it to see because I have the same keyboard. And but it, yours always worked. Right? I think it always charged, but maybe not. You know, I don't check. I plug it in, and then you know, uh -huh. if it maybe it didn't. I don't know. Mm. A lot of times I charge without the keyboard. So Let's David, see, last night I think I charged with the keyboard. And it did charge. Yeah. David has a suggestion for an over uh, the air uh, for for a audiobook lover like yourself. It's yes. called OTR Streamer. Have you oh heard yeah, of let's. Uh, no, I didn't. What so thousands of episodes um, in eight categories from the golden age of radio no. voice acting. OTR stands for old time radio. No, not over the uh, over the R. R <laughs> I don't know why I said ding it. Dong. Old time radio. Sorry, not OTR. Yeah, I. You know, it's funny. My dad and I, when I was a kid. There was a station, it was kind of a distant radio station that played uh, The Shadow. 
Uh, we would we couldn't get it in the house because it was such a weak station. So he, he and I would sit in the, it was kind of a nice bonding moment, mm -hmm. sit in the car listening to who knows what evil lurks in the heart. Even when I was a kid, that stuff was old time radio. Now it's really old time radio. Uh, I noticed you're getting an ad on there. Mm -hmm. This is there's a very there are several very well known websites that stream all the same stuff. So you probably don't need this app. Okay. Uh, if you want to avoid the ad, you could just go to well, just search for old time radio. So I radio. could listen to Baby Snooks. <laughs> Did you ever listen to Baby, Baby Snooks. Snooks? Baby yeah. Snooks. Yeah, yeah. That was. Um... There comes a time in every father's oh, What was her name? When he must take his offspring to see the circus. It's an adult woman. Well known for her baby snooks. Actually, the Internet Archive has a whole bunch of free uh, okay, old time so you don't radio need to, as well. And you won't have to watch. Uh, it's good, you know. If if it's fine to have that app, there are a number of apps like it, um, and then there are a number of uh, radio shows like um, websites rather like it, and that you can just listen to stream off the uh, off the internet. So it's just. Uh, Who's this? This is Burns and Allen. Oh, I love Tom Burns Joe, and Allen. Uh, rides again. This is going to be racist. Campbell Soup presents George Burns and Gracie Allen. There are also full-time, old-time radio stations you can stream, so Dad and I wouldn't have to get in the car anymore. We just fire up the old computer and put it on, and these stations just play their radio stations. Do an old-time radio. I wonder what's going on right now. Knowing what wildfire likes to eat is half the battle. Visit firewise.org to find out how so you can help So they have real, modern public wildfire. service announcements. Uh, firewise.org. A public service brought to you. When you're weary in times of oh, trouble. Oh, Lord. I'm, all I'm getting is ads. So maybe that isn't the best solution. <laughs> They're just trying to make a living. Online old-time radio. Listen. Welcome. Let's see about this one. See what Anywhere it's... Anywhere kills disease germs on contact. Lysol. It's Lysol in a new pine scent. Right. Now there's a new pine scented Lysol. See, I could have now gotten work in those days. Pine sweet now Lysol there's a new clean. pine scented Lysol. Lysol brand disinfected. Lysol brand disinfected. Lysol disinfects. Deodorizes. I was just born cleans, too late. Kitchen, bathroom, nursery, sick room. Oh, you were born right Keeps on things time. fresh room. and sweet with no extra work. Pine scented Lysol helps guard your home. In laboratory tests, Lysol's anti-germ action <laughs> Boy, those ads go on and on, says Leo. The king <laughs> of the ad that goes on and on. Uh, okay. Old-time radio, yeah. You know, this is a huge category. Uh, and I think, I suspect, the audience for this must be dwindling. Do you do you have a hankering to listen to The Great Gildersleeve? I don't. Do you no, know? I don't think so. Well, there's, yes. no new there's so much new-time radio. That's I the thing. We live in, a, in an era where there's... In almost infinite amount of great yeah. audio content out there. So why, you know, I mean, it's fun to hear the shadow and stuff like that. Someday people will be using their, like, um, their hologram screens to watch us. Like, oh, look, Megan and We Leo. are going to be like, the old-time radio. Yeah. You know, there's a, there was a... Um, Maybe we already are. <laughs> we might be. There was a, in uh, in Toronto, at the uh, a hotel called the Drake Hotel, where I used to stay when I went up to Toronto. In the bar there, they would run old computer shows and you saw on, yourself? on the screen. <laughs> And I told Amber at the time, you know, someday we'll be on that screen. And I think by now we are. <laughs> Those old computer chronicles shows. Stuff oh, like that. Yeah. yeah. Those were the days. I was weird that they would run that. I guess they thought it was a hoot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a very hip bar. Okay, I got one more comment. Sort of, sort of a comment slash question. Bob from St. Charles asks, I've noticed that I turn the lights on or off using Siri on my HomePod. There's no verbal confirmation for the lights in the same room. I still get confirmation lights in other rooms and non-light devices like fans in the same room. Is there a new feature in 11.4 software? Have I not noticed it before? Is this a new feature? Yes. Is this? So, um, yeah, Google. So I often use uh, Google to turn off my lights because I can, same command, I can say echo, turn the lights off. And she she just, I think she just goes, doo doo. Dude, yeah, I can't yeah, remember. That's what my uh, Google will say. Okay, turning off two lights. Yeah, um, I haven't tried it with Siri. So yeah, I think that that's you know. I haven't tried it either. I it's nice to get an acknowledgement. I guess, but I mean, unless I mean, I mean the acknowledgement is the lights going off, right, right? Unless you are blind, and so maybe you just someone like your kids left the lights on. And you want to make sure they're off, but that would be an accessibility nice to say thing. That. So here's a. So this is interesting. Let me look at this question again because is. He says, 
if he's in the same room, there's no verbal confirmation. Well, that makes sense because you'll know the lights are gone off. But there is a confirmation when it's lights in other rooms and non-light devices like fans. That kind of makes sense. That's the kind of thing Apple puts a lot of thought into. Do we need to say, okay, the lights are turning off if you're in the same room that the right. lights are going off? Probably not. If, there, if it's another room you don't know, they have to give you a confirmation. So that's actually, I'm sure that that's, Apple put that in as a feature. Uh, I think they did too. Thoughtful feature. Because people complained. I think when I did some research, people were complaining. They said, why does it have to say, okay, I'll turn them off when I know that they're off? And so I think 11.4. They they, oh, so this is a new feature. They that listened. They, that's thoughtful. Um, because with the Echo, you can, I actually used to like when she would say, okay, and turn the lights off. But yeah. now she just makes the noise. But it's sort of like, I just want, it's not that, I mean, I know the lights are turning off or on because I can see it. But I want an acknowledgement. I think in Amazon's Echo, you can turn that back on. Right, you can turn it yeah. back on. Yeah, I, I turned off the that. acknowledgements because I prefer. I don't yeah. want to hear all that verbiage. Yeah. Don't talk, just do. I haven't. Yeah, I my my next uh, journey into smart home living is to make my HomePod the um, my HomeKit hub. I haven't done that yet. Actually, my app cap might be something you want to try out. I okay. I'm excited. Are are we ready for to put to don our caps? I am. I am too. Are you ready? It's app cap time. We don these hats to show our support for the United States of America. Yes. And my app cap is going into space, so I need a helmet <laughs> for that. That ought to protect you pretty darn good. Actually, this is a Ruski hat. Oh, really? This is a Ruski hat. It has a bunch of commie uh, badges on it. Mm -hmm. I bought this in St. Petersburg. <laughs> uh, okay, so we wear caps. Because this is AppCap. This is our favorite app of the week. It is. The app we've been using and loving. It is. And we want to tell you about it. And my app cap is called Cosmic Watch. It has nothing to do with your watch. It's just watching, like, with your eyes. And it's for iPad or iPhone. And I'm not going to rate it. I'll rate it later. And this is I just... I hate that. I wish they would get rid of that. <laughs> just stop it. This is a way to explore the solar system. So I can... Um, Go, I can have this is just the the one view and I can look at from where I am. Ooh. I can see where I am at Earth on Earth. See that there's Petaluma. There we are. Um, this is the celestial sphere. I can just explore the universe and I can uh, go to different places. Um, search location. So let's see. I want to go to New Castle, um, Newcastle in Australia. And that's where that is. And I can go to different times so I can see real time. Or maybe I want to see what the universe looked like on my birthday. So I would have to go all the way back to 1973. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> Let's see what it's going to look like when I die in 2052. I just decided that. And then that's what it looks like. Or I can go back. I can go forward. Um, I can do os I can do astronomy or astrology. There are different, you know, you can see the zodiacs. You can have guides. It's just if you are interested in a really pretty app that will show you our solar system. This is just showing Earth. Let me get to the solar system. Um, I've just been pressing all the buttons. There we go. Um, there we are. You could just get a little bit of a perspective. That's fun. Yeah. I think uh, classrooms might be interesting yeah. too. Yeah, so this is called Cosmic Watch, and I believe it is about $2.99. Let me see. It's four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. dollars Yeah, great that for That seems to be the new kind of go-to price for a lot of apps. For a, an bucks. app that works on the iPad um, yeah. and can, you know, has a lot of features and looks good. It's not a, um, I don't I don't think that's unfair. No, calculates next astronom astronomical times. It's you know, if you're interested in astronomy, explore the cosmic <clears> watch. <throat> I've been playing, in fact, I guess we're probably reviewed on the new screensavers. You reviewed the Wise Cam, the original Wise Cam, W Y Z E. It's a camera you might put in your house for twenty bucks. They've uh, come out with a new one. This is called the Wise Cam Pan. And this is my app cap because there is an app that goes with it. In fact, without the app there's not much else you can do with it. Unlike a lot of other cameras, there's no web-based interface to this. You need the app if you want to look and see what happened. Uh, it's a very, it's an interesting camera because it's what we call a pan tilt zoom camera. Uh, that means you can direct it, you can point it at things. Ooh. Yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. That means if you're curious about what's going on somewhere in your house, 
it's easy enough to figure that out. It's a little sucker. It's not uh, now a couple of things. Some people have already noted about it. The gears in this are a little bit noisy, so you can you know you wouldn't want to put it next to your bed while you're mm -hmm. sleeping. But uh, not noisy enough that I can't have one in the studio, which I, in fact, do. And if I'll show you the uh, output of it in just a second. But uh, it, this is the real point of this is the price. So let me kind of see if you can guess the price here. I've just opened one. Um, this is the camera. It has a, a, a wide-angle lens, 120-degree lens. has a speaker and a microphone. So you can hear what's going on. And you can even get alerts from both motion on the camera and from the microphone has a micro USB uh, charger it comes with, uh, and it's on a little pedestal that it rotates. So I'll, I'll show you. Let me just show you. This is the WiseCam app, and they have it for Android as well. So w that's my office. We're looking at my office right now. And because it's pan, tilt, zoom, I can look around. I could say what's going on. I can look up. I can look. It's, you have reached the end. It can't look straight up, obviously. But it gives you enough, especially if you position it well, I can keep an eye on our hats, mm. make sure that our app caps are safe. It's important. Yeah. But That's really nice. It's got a good picture. It's a very good HD picture. You can zoom, too. I mean, I can, I can, oh, there's my hand. I'm zooming in on my hand. This actually shows you how little lag there is. There's not a lot of lag. That's pretty quick, right? Right. And if someone wanted to grab our hats. Wait a minute. Like, get it, get out of there. Hey, hey. So did you see it put a little green yes. square? So it has motion detection, and it will alert you if there's motion or sound. I had to turn off sound because there was enough sound of cars going by and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was getting alerts all night. And actually, I realized the motion detection maybe wasn't the greatest because, uh, I mean, it wasn't the greatest thing to leave on because it also could see this screen. It would often mm -hmm. zoom in on the screen thinking there was motion in the office, but it was, of course, just twit playing in the background. Uh, you can turn on sound so I can hear what's going on. Say something, Burke. Can you could speak to him too, right? Under speak. It also has a patrol mode. So what it will do if I don't mess with it is it'll periodically move. And that's how it can capture motion anywhere in the uh, space. Why did it move away from Burke? Well, wouldn't you? <laughs> I do, actually, often. <laughs> so if there's somebody napping in your office, you can see <laughs> and you can speak to them. Hey, Burke. Burke. <laughs> a little bit of a delay. I, <laughs> I thought something moved over there. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, how much is that? 175, 200, 250? Well, there's, wait, but wait, there's more. Okay. <laughs> a lot of cameras like this, like the Nest Cam, will charge you a monthly fee for storage. Mm -hmm. This has two ways of uh, storing data. It does have an SD card slot in it, so a micro SD card slot. So you could have it continuously recording on there. But it also has, it'll keep two weeks of motion. It's not, it doesn't save it if there's nothing going on. But if there's motion, it'll save up to two weeks of motion free. There is no subscription. So you have two weeks of free, two weeks is plenty, right? If there's an incident within two weeks, you'll know there was an incident. It sends you notifications. You get alerts on your phone or your tablet. Uh, if you have the app installed, you'll get alerts saying, hey, I saw motion. You can immediately go see it. It has this pan, tilt, zoom. It has the ability to zoom in, which I think is great. See, I can see somebody out. Oh, oh I see somebody out there in the, in the car out there. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I could take a photo. Wait, that's my car. <laughs> see? <laughs> Aren't you glad we have this? Uh, I could take a photo. Um, it allows us, this is where we have the motion tracking can be turned on and off. The pan scan is like the night watchman where it goes and it moves around and checks. You can even do waypoints on the pan scan, which is really great. You could say, go here, go here, go here. So it saw him there and it moved over there. That's maybe a little bit of a flaw. We'll see if it, if it catches him. Where'd he go? There he, go. <laughs> there he is. Stealing he's got stuff. a sledgehammer. Stealing things. Oh, he's closing the curtains. Uh. <laughs> I guess it's keeping him up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also have motion tagging. That's where the, the you see the green thing. I can I can have an album, uh, and I can even do a time lapse, which is I think is kind of fun. But you need a micro SD card installed, obviously, for recording to the time lapse. You get to choose the bandwidth. So if you want to save bandwidth and send a lower quality stream, you can choose SD. Uh, it doesn't use a lot of bandwidth. We, you know, when we had the original 
uh, drop cams in our studio. We found that some of them are using a megabit. Mm. This uh, right now for an HD signal is 161 kilobytes per second. I guess that's actually close to a megabit, isn't it? Come to think of it. Uh, but it only does it when there's motion. So uh, you see I have the timestamp and date on there. That's very handy, but you don't have to have it on there. It has night vision. So I just turn the night vision on. So you can turn that on or off uh, or leave it on auto, which is what I do. So when it's dark, it'll turn on. And when it's not dark, it'll turn off. So pan, tilt, zoom, which means you can point the camera anywhere. Automatic patrolling. And you set the, the, uh, the where it patrols to. Uh, it has free two weeks recording. It's a pretty good image that you can manually pan, tilt, zoom. And you can... Even zoom in like this, although that's digital zoom, right? But that's good enough to see, you know, details of what's going on. Maybe not read a license plate, but certainly, I don't know. I guess, you, yeah, there's a license plate. I guess I can read a license plate. So that's pretty darn good. Yeah. Now how much would you pay? Oh, two. Now remember, the original was $20. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know. $30 plus $30. shipping. $30. $30. Uh. I don't get it. Are they stealing all your personal information? Are they no? It and in to fact, Russia, the uh, data that so this is interesting. The data coming from your camera is stored on an Amazon S3 bucket. Uh, no one else has access to. There is no website. The only access is through this app. So I think it's even more secure than say, you know, uh, somebody else's uh, camera. Uh, you don't have to have that turned on. They uh, somebody pointed out in the Reddit uh, thread. Oh, wait a minute! It's pinging China. It is, be and they and they. And by the way, the manufacturer is very responsive. They were right there on the app and said, "Yeah, because we have a notification provider that's in China, so it pings the notification pro uh, provider every once in a while to stay alive, and the notifications come from China, but no data goes through China except for those notifications. And it's just because that was a cheap service provider for the notification system. They said." Uh, on the and that's only for Android. On iOS, Apple provides a notification system, so we don't have to ping China. Mm -hmm. It's just if you're using an Android app that we uh, ping China. Yeah, the creators of Wise are really interesting. They've worked really hard to make an affordable. It's amazing product. Um, they've worked with different suppliers and, like you said, and and try to really cut down on the middleman. Um, and I, I think this is maybe the next thing we're going to see in smart home technology: affordable affordability. It's very affordable. The first thing it did, by the way, when I went online, it immediately did a firmware update. Uh, I want to see that always in one of these devices because you want to keep them secure and you mm -hmm. want the company to be able to push firmware updates. Right. They did. I think, and, yeah, affordability and security. And security. Because I think affordability has been out there. If you go to Amazon, you can buy all kinds of things. Yeah, but you, never, you don't know, you know who you're know getting them from, right? It. So, yeah. yeah, I think that... Um, I'm very encouraged by this mm -hmm. and you can probably thank apple because of the they've really turned china into a manufacturing center with amazing capabilities very low costs and a lot of the functionality including the cameras really were developed for smartphones particularly for the iphone originally and now have trickled down uh to other areas so i i think you can kind of thank apple for making you know creating a billion iphones really did a lot to uh, uh, make this manufacturing capability possible. Yeah, I'm going to get a few of these, I think, because the one that I tested was Anthony's, and he asked for it back. So Yeah, he still I, has it. Yes. The, uh, the Wise Cam uh, company is in Kirkland, uh, Washington, Ooh. so they're a U.S. company. Right. Near uh, Microsoft. And they're very responsive. Yeah, near Microsoft. I wonder if someone's yeah. going to buy them. Well, I don't know. I hope not. Um, I, I'm really impressed by this. And as far as I can tell, uh, by the way, here's the... Uh, Here's the full screen shot uh, that it's getting right now. So you can also, I should have showed this, go full screen and, and, and then use your finger to pan, tilt, zoom. I think that's pretty darn cool. Mm -hmm. Pretty darn cool. That is the uh, Wise Cam Pan. And look, so you can spot a cat mm -hmm. and watch your kitty cat. Is that cat. a cat or a dog? No, it's not a cat. That's a dog. I can't spot a cat, but it can. <laughs> I can't spot a dog. Can. It has that. better eyes than Leo. And she's following him. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if the dog really signed off for that. Like, the dog's, dog's privacy. privacy is being invaded. Well. See what it's doing right now? Is it? It's If I move enough, it's now that it's a static shot, but as soon as we move enough, it will go down here and think that there's somebody in the room. That is a little flaw. Don't leave the TV on if you use that. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. 
I, so it's know. not exactly an app. It is an app, but it's really a piece of hardware. But at $30, I have I have no hesitation. I bought three. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I bought three because that's just cool. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. <laughs> You're like, I, I want to pay as much as I would for one camera, right. so I'll buy three. They're so cheap, I buy five. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Why not? It's a deal. Uh, we have reached another end of our time together this week. Leah. Oh, but it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. I'll always remember it. I'll always remember this time where I say something and then you say it again. Megan this is the show TV. where she says something and I say it again. <laughs> Megan at twit.tv, if you want to be a part, please send me your emojis. Send me your animojis if you don't have the Oh, but beta. Uh, if you've got the beta, send us memojis. Yeah, so yeah. send us memojis. They're fun. Um, yeah, just save it save it, and share it via email. If that's or... actually would be a good way for people to ask their questions. Yes, that's that's what I would like. Ask your question via memoji. Memoji. Um, or an emoji if you don't have the beta, but we prefer Memoji. And okay. come September when iOS 12 is out, that's all we'll accept. That's all we're going to We don't want to see your real face anymore. <laughs> it must be a Memoji. It's going to be the future. Yeah. We do this show every Monday, about, about 9 a.m. Uh, Tuesday, I'm sorry. Tuesday, around 9 a.m. Pacific. That's noon Eastern. That's 17, 1600 UTC if you want to stop by and, uh, and join us. We'd love seeing you. Uh, you can watch the stream. There's a variety of places. In fact, we have a new stream chat room's been watching and says it's great the uh, microsoft mix uh mixer stream is it mixer or mix mixer mixer.com slash twit uh but you can also watch us at twit.tv slash live and we'll incorporate that into the uh twit live stream as soon as we feel like it's uh you know stable and consistent uh so anytime you go to twit.tv slash live you usually have three or four choices of places you can uh, stream from audio as well as video you can also get on-demand versions of the show at twit.tv slash iOS or subscribe in your favorite podcatcher. Mm -hmm. You'll get us every week the minute the show's available, uh, audio or video, mixer.com slash twit. Come see us, too. Tickets at twit.tv to come be in our studio audience. We'd love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ticket. It's free. If you're in Northern California, we're in Petaluma. Tickets at twit.tv. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next time. On iOS Today. Bye-bye.